Hi there, I'm Kira Rona with Family Service and Guidance Center as a school-based clinician. Welcome to the Real World Parenting Series. Our topic this month is bullying. I also want to mention that I'm a former teacher, and so this is something that I've been on all ends and all sides of the spectrum. When it comes to your kids, you guys know your parents, like you know your kids. You're the parents, you know when your kid is off, and that is a really crucial piece to this because instead of talking about the different signs of bullying, we're gonna talk about how you as a parent can help your child respond to it, whether your child is experiencing bullying or is acting as the bully. So one of the first things we wanna talk about is asking open-ended questions as well as using listening skills to help your child feel validated and heard. When we use open-ended questions, things like, how do your peers make you feel at school? This can really indicate whether the experience for them is positive or negative, and it allows them to kind of explain how they feel about their peers, and then it can lead into other questions about, well, what makes you feel that way? Is your child really happy about being at school? Is your child feeling really anxious about being at school? Things like that. The other part of this is that as adults, we've learned really great problem-solving skills. When it's time to listen to your child about what they're feeling, it's really important to not jump to that problem-solving piece. Your child is experiencing a lot of emotions and sometimes skipping to the problem-solving can make them feel like they're not being heard. So it's important to take a second, reflect on feelings, and just listen to them. Uh, next is going to be teaching them or modeling for them what is happening or what can be done. So especially for these little kiddos from ages three to eight, we're looking at reading books or watching cartoon videos that use examples and modeling for how they can experience and how they can respond to bullying. And then with the modeling, there's a lot of different pieces that go into modeling. One is the environment that you guys have at home. Is there a lot of really empathetic and passionate and fair treatment at home? Or is there a lot of talking and not listening and things like that? When you have that environment at home, you also wanna practice this modeling with them, going through different scenarios, talking about what's being said and how they can respond to it. After teaching and modeling, we wanna talk about things that we do not recommend happening. We do not recommend that you avoid talking to the school if there are serious threats or violence happening at school or in general environments such as daycares or other places that they may be. When that happens, we really want you to contact your school or contact someone that you feel like you can go to with this so that your child can feel as supported as possible. We also do not recommend escalating the situation um, by talking to your kid about physically defending themselves or getting emotional when responding to the situation. Lastly, practicing and support. Practice makes progress and supporting your child by listening to them and asking those open-ended questions is a really great way to respond to them. Other great resources that you as parents can use is your local library. They have really wonderful books and cartoons that you can go through with your child when they're experiencing these things. And you can always call Family Service and Guidance Center to ask us for more resources at 785-232-5005. That's all for now. Come back next Thursday for another Real World Parenting Series. I'm Kira Rona. Thanks for watching.